There's the hospital in Atlanta where the two Americans infected with Ebola have been treated for nearly three weeks. Dr. Kent Brantley is going home this morning. We're going to learn more about Nancy Wrightbull's discharge. ABC's Steve Osinsami is in Atlanta with the latest. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, George. Nancy Wrightbull and her family have asked for privacy and will not attend a news conference scheduled later today. Dr. Kent Brantley will attend that news conference, take no questions, and then he and his family, we're told, plan to disappear. This morning, Dr. Kent Brantley, the missionary doctor sick with Ebola, finally going home to the arms of his loved ones. Dr. Brantley and Nancy Wrightbull were serving God and saving lives in the Ebola ward at this field hospital in Liberia when they got sick. Both were flown to this Atlanta hospital. Brantley was strong enough to be walked into the building nearly three weeks ago. Both are being released. The disease has claimed the lives of more than 1,300 people in West Africa, the deadliest outbreak in history. But with the right care, about 40% of Ebola patients survive. The key here is excellent nursing, frequent vital signs, fixing problems. It took an elaborate rescue mission to fly the two missionaries stateside. Experts say Brantley still has plenty of healing ahead of him. The most common issue, joint and muscle pain, which can last for years. It's pretty common for people after a bad infection to be very fatigued, uh, maybe to have muscle and joint aches, and that certainly can happen after Ebola virus. Doctors say that after three weeks, Ebola patients who beat the disease can no longer spread it easily. The virus no longer appears in the blood or saliva, but there is evidence it can be transmitted through sexual intercourse for up to three months. Just this past Saturday, Brantley was still in the isolation unit, separated from his family by a clear wall and an intercom, telling ABC News in a statement, as my treatment continues in the isolation unit, I'm recovering in every way. I hold on to the hope of a sweet reunion with my wife, children, and family in the near future. Throughout their ordeal, both of these missionaries have tried to put the focus on the crisis that's taking place in West Africa, which so far has not spread west.